Hi, my name is Sarah Rubin, and I'm the Regional Marketing Director for Fairway Independent Mortgage Corporation's Mid-Atlantic Region. And today, in conjunction to, with Cindy Bishop Worldwide, we are going to be diving into Facebook basics. So with that, I'm going to share my screen and we will get started. Okay, so Facebook basics. What are the basic statistics when we're talking about Facebook? So there are 2.5 billion monthly active users with 1.66 of those being, sorry, 1.66 billion of those being daily active users and 1.7 billion mobile active users. So those numbers are quite large, but it's really important to remember that only about 10% of them are actually in the United States and Canada. Users 65 and older are the fastest growing age demographic on Facebook. And in 2019, the most significant change in Facebook user demographics was among users born in 1945 or earlier. This age group grew from 26% in 2018 to nearly 40% in 2019. Millennials and boomers increased by a maximum of 2% and Gen Xers reduced their Facebook use. So it's really important to kind of remember when we're talking about Facebook, who that target audience is, who is on Facebook most, who will be seeing your content most, and who will be interacting with it most. Um, the highest traffic um, occurs midweek between 1 and 3 p.m. And Thursdays and Fridays, engagement is 18% higher. Every 60 seconds on Facebook, 510,000 comments are posted, 293,000 statuses are updated, and 136,000 photos are uploaded. Video currently accounts for approximately 11% of Facebook content, and 85% of users watch video with no sound. So that is telling us that video is super important on Facebook, and Mark Zuckerberg actually came out and said he hopes that the news feeds will be 100% video or at least as close as possible by 2021. So video, again, not going anywhere. And Facebook is really hoping to kind of compete with a YouTube um, type of platform, allowing you to use subtitles and play video with no sound but still comprehend what's being said. So how do you win on Facebook? You need to tell a story. You need to be giving people something other than just fact. Don't overlook the ordinary. Things that are going on in your everyday life, that's what people want to hear about. That's what people want to see. So don't overlook the things that you consider just day-to-day -day activity. Video, as I already mentioned, is a huge, huge win on Facebook. They do promote their video content and it's incredibly important. Be funny, unique, current, any or all of those. So if you want to tell a joke, fine. But you can't post the same exact thing that you just saw on Facebook because then someone else has already taken that content. You need to be current. If you're talking about an event or a statistic or things of that sort, you need to make sure that it is relevant to what's happening right now and is accurate. You need to step out of your comfort zone. So get comfortable with being uncomfortable. Allow yourself to try new things and kind of push the limits on what you normally do on Facebook. And then most importantly, just be somebody you would want to do business with. So as you are thinking about what content to put out there, you want to think about the content you engage with, the people you like genuinely on Facebook. Okay, so now I always get asked, should I have a business page, a personal account, or both? So unless you are running advertisement, so you are doing paid ads on Facebook, you should have a personal account. If you are doing paid advertisement, you need both a business page and a personal page. But if you are not doing paid advertisement, your personal account is where you will get in interaction and traction. So you should have business posts on your personal page regardless. And it doesn't have to be promotional or, you know, advertisements. It can just be you drinking out of a mug that has your logo on it. And that will remind people that you're a realtor. So I find that people really segment their business content and their personal content when really it's all the same. So you want to make sure that you are incorporating parts of your personal and your business life 
on either your personal or your business page. But Facebook did um, come out a few years ago now and say, you know, we have too many pages, so we're going to devalue the business pages. So people aren't seeing that content as easily. So really, again, unless you need the business page to run paid advertisement, you should be focusing everything on your personal page. And then some top posting tips, be authentic, be true to who you are, be consistent, even if that means just posting once a week. If you say, I'm going to start posting once a week, okay, but make sure you're actually doing it once a week. Then once a week can turn into twice or three times or four times or seven times. Remember your audience. As we talked about at the beginning, the audience on Facebook is much older than on an Instagram or a YouTube. So you want to make sure that you are talking to the audience you are intending to talk to. So if you are talking about first time home buyers, Facebook might not be the place for you to really promote that content. If you're talking about downsizing, Facebook might be that perfect place. Remember that everything is shareable, especially in today's world. Don't put anything out there. You wouldn't be okay with that being shared over and over and over again. And any client prospect or referral partner could see it and you would be okay with that. And then be visual, include photo and video whenever possible. So those are the Facebook basics. Um, thank you for joining us. And as always, you can follow along with me on social media, or you can visit cindybishoptraining.com. If you're really looking to up your real estate business game and take that next step, there are so many resources and information on cindybishoptraining.com. Thank you again for joining and I hope to talk to you soon.